For training today, I wanted to go over a website, Find a Record. To get to this website, you go to findarecord.com. And what their claim to fame is that in three minutes, you can instantly find research opportunities in your family search tree. So I want to show you this because this could be awesome and also helpful in so many areas of family history. So we're going to go over in a minute their research assistants and go through those which will really help you find problems, find records, um, find places. And then also, they also have a browser extension that works with Google Chrome and Firefox. So we're going to look at the Chrome one, how to add that at the end. But I just want to make you aware that there is actually an extension, which means that you don't even have to leave your tree to, get to find a record. I'll show you that in a sec. So first of all, what we're going to do is sign in with Family Search. I'm just going to click the Sign On, Sign In button over there on the right. And what it does is, um, I've logged in a little while ago, and so, um, but it'll come up usually with the login from Family Search. It'll have you log in. And so this is starting with me. And if you want to change the start person over here on the left hand side, you can put the person's ID number from Family Search in here. It won't do the name, so go ahead and just get their ID number. You can copy and paste that. And then over here on the left-hand side, too, it asks you what you want to find. And right now, it's just finding my ancestors. If you click this right arrow, the down arrow on the right-hand side, then my ancestors, parents, grandparents, and all great grandparents. If you want to do descendants, you can do that. And it's then ancestors, cousins, and then just everybody. So you can do everybody at once if you would like. So we're going to go ahead right now and just do the ancestors. And then it asks you how many generations you'd like to do. And you can start with even one generation. I've got it right now on six. And you can do as many as 25 generations if you would like to go that far. We'll just go ahead and leave it on six generations. And then it asks you what you would like to do. Right now, I'm just looking at ordinances. I'm going to go ahead and click that off so I can show you these others. Well, so what if I'll ask you what you want to do now? I've clicked on the sources on the left hand side. And so what it's saying is that, you know, I don't have a marriage record for my great grandmother, Martha Lorreen Williams. This is her name and my relationship, and then also the Family Search ID number, which you can just click on and go directly to Family Search. And then over here on the right hand side, you can say that you fix this, you can hide this, or you can also look at the details. And the details will come up, show you a little bit of information about her from Family Tree, and then it'll give you suggestions or steps of how you can find a marriage record. It says you can review the hints. You can go to other popular genealogy websites, family history centers, or even hire a researcher. And down below, it gives you some of the best genealogy websites to look at. So that's if you click on, remember the details right here on the right hand side. So, and then let me, let me show you if I do click on her, how that takes me. If I click on that ID number, it takes me right to her details page in Family Search, and so that should come up in a sec here. So this is my grandmother, Martha Lorraine Williams, great grandmother, actually. <laughs> so I'm going to go back to find a record again. I want to show you if you open up this arrow on the right hand side, it shows you the sources that it's trying to find or, or suggesting that you find. Go ahead and close that because I want to go over the blue. Okay, blue is about the person, so it's having you find places, marriage places, and if I open that blue side, blue, this tells you the different options that it's looking for, maybe a missing given name, and so it can help, again, if you click on the details, it can help you with whatever it is that it's trying to find for you. Let's go ahead and click off the blue, and if you click on these two, they'll collapse those. And then let's do relationships. So just let me show you what these are trying to find. Find a marriage, 
place, there's missing parents, multiple parent relationships. So it's going to look through your tree and bring those up to your attention. Let's go ahead and click that off. We'll collapse that. And then the one thing I really, really like is this problems, the red. So what this does is it crawls through the tree and then it looks for possible duplicate persons, which you can do in family search. You know, if you're on a person page, you can look for possible duplicates. So this actually goes through your tree and shows you where there might be possible duplicates. And so this would be a great way to go and clean those up. It also will go through and, you know, tell you if a child born before the marriage, too close, and just different options like that. So let's go ahead and close that. And let me show you the cleanup. Like these, this really is helpful for cleaning up family search. This will go through and look for identical names, um, multiple marriage facts, standardized marriage places, just everything like that. So you can look look at all those. Also, what's nice is if you don't want some of these to come up, you can just click those to take them off. So you can um, really decide what you want to look at and what you don't want to look at. So that's helpful because sometimes I get overwhelmed with too much. So that's on the cleanup. Let's go ahead and close that out. And let me show you the last one, which is real exciting, is the ordinances. This actually will bring up ordinances that might be ready. You might need to make sure and check and make sure there's not duplicates, but it will go through and look for ordinances. And then if you click on this down arrow, you can have it only look for baptisms or confirmations or just you can, however you would like to search for that. So I think this is awesome. I think this can definitely help in, in using the family tree. Your family tree gets so large and it's so hard to find information. And so this is an awesome way to do it. Okay, so I wanted to show you really quick, too, if you would like the Chrome extension, let me show you what that looks like. I'm back here at the person page, and if you look up here, oh wait, let me go back here one more time. If you look at find a record, there's also this, um, this little icon on the left-hand side shows what the find a record icon is. If I click here and go to my person page, here is the Chrome extension that I've already added up here in the right hand side in this um, browse the URL address. You can see how I hover over that and it says find a record. To be able to add that to yours, if you're in Chrome, and it works the same. I just always search for find a record Chrome extension. And this takes you to the Chrome web store. So click on that and then it says find a record and it says add it to Chrome, which I've already added. And you can go ahead and it will say add. So anyway, I hope that helps and I hope you have a great day. Let me know what you think.